Okay, guys, we're looking at the 2014 paper one and we're talking about question six. We're given a TN formula, which is 15 take away two times whatever we want. So what essentially we're doing is this is an arithmetic sequence, which means the gap is always the same between each one. And all that we gotta do is do this three times and constantly replace the end value with either a one, two, or three, because it wants the first three terms, okay? So all that we gotta do is the following. Let's put in the number one here, number one here, number two here, number two here, number three here, number three here. First answer is 13. Second answer is 11. You use your calculator. And the third answer is 9. This means your T1, which is your first term, is 13. Your T2, which is your second term, is 11. And your T3 is 9. Now, do you want the first negative term of the sequence? So if you want to keep going, T4 is 7. T5 is 5. T6 is 3. T7 is 1, and finally T8 is minus 1. So the answer would be T8. Now that was easy because it was very countable. But in a case where you could do it this way as well, you could say that your, your TN answer has to be smaller than 0. And then you could say 15 minus 2N has to be smaller than 0. You could bring your 15 to the other side. You could say minus 2N is less than minus 15. Both sides are negative. It's an inequality, so multiply both sides by positive. And then you get an n value bigger than 7.5. And the n value bigger than 7.5 is an n value of 8, hence the term T8. All right, the next thing is what's called Sn. And there's a formula for this. Sn is n over 2 equals 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Now, the deal with Sn is that, don't, don't mind me. T1 is 13, T2 is 11, and T3 is 9. Now, the deal is that S1 equals T1, S2 equals T1 plus T2, and S3 is actually your T1 plus your T2 plus your T3. So we can check this formula quite quickly because we know that S1 will have to equal 13. S2 will have to equal 13 plus 11, which is 24. And S3 is 13, 11, and 9, which is 33. Okay. Now, so the key thing to remember is the A value is your starting off value, so A is 13. The D value is the gap between each one, and we can see that it goes down by 2 every time. Your D value is minus 2. So what we're going to do is Sn equals N over 2, 2 times A, and A is 13, so that's going to be 26. N minus 1 times D, we know D is minus 2, so it multiplies in by the N, you get minus 2N. Two. And then our SN formula will be n over 2, and 26 plus 2 is 28, 28 minus 2n. If you want to check your answer, as an example, you could sub in S3 and find out if the answer is 33 or not. So that would be 3 over 2 times 28 minus 2 times 3. And then what you find out is 28 minus 6 is 22, 3 over 2 times 22. And if you multiply that out, you'll get 33. Hence, you know your, your formula is correct. Okay, next thing. Find the value of n for which the sum of the n series is zero. So, so remember what we said earlier, okay? So this formula here, uh, I'll use a table function. Instead of n, I'm going to use x. Okay, so it's going to be x over two into 28 minus 2n, okay? Now, what we started is start at 1, and for argument's sake, end at, start at 1, and for argument's sake, end at 20, and take a step of 1. Now, what you can see is that S1 is 13. We thought that happened. 
because we said that S1 is T1, which is 13. You can see that S2 is 24, as we predicted. And what's going to happen after a while is you're going to notice that they're going to start going downhill. So, for example, S7 is 49, and then it's going to go all the way downhill, and it's eventually going to become negative. Now, the reason for that is that eventually you're going to be adding on terms that are negative. So do you remember we said that T8 is minus 1, and T9 would then be minus 3, and T10 would be minus 5? Eventually, it's going to go negative. Okay? So that's what's going to happen. Things are it's starting to go negative again. And what we can see is that by the 14th term, T14, the, the series would be 0. Okay? And you can do this two ways. You can do trial and error, which gets you some marks. So what you can do is you, you can argue that, oh, S13, if you use 13 terms, it would be 13 over 2 into 28 minus 2 times 13. You could put that into your calculator and show that it equals 13. And then you go, oh, S14, which is uh, 14 over 2 into 28 minus 2 times 14. And you can prove that that equals 0, like so. Okay? Now, that's well and good, and that will entitle you to high partial marks. Now, what they're really looking for you to do is to put your SM formula equal to zero. So your SM formula equal to zero will be this one here. So you go SM equal to zero. And here is your SM formula. That's what we got in the example part one. So you go N over 2 to 28 minus 2N. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply that in. And we're going to get 28N minus 2N squared. Okay. And then we're going to divide it by 2, just like we divide the bottom by 2. And when we divide that by 2, we're going to get 14n minus n squared equals 0. We're going to multiply both sides by minus. Now, there's two ways of doing this. The first way is by factorizing, where you take out n, and you get left with n minus 14 equals 0. And then you say, oh, no bother, the n value is 0, or the n minus 14 value is 0, leaving n equals 14, which is what we're looking for. I know some people are trying to use the uh, minus b formula a lot. So if you're using the minus b formula, what you're going to say is that the a value is 1, the b value is minus 14, the minus b value is plus 14, the c value is 0. Then you're going to use the minus b formula, like so. Then you're just going to get 14 plus or minus the square root of minus 14 minus 4ac, which is 1 times 0. That's the green right in here. I'll take out that red right in there. We'll get the same answer anyway. All over 2 times 1. And what we're going to end up with is 14 plus or minus 14. Because when I throw all this into the calculator, I'm just going to throw this part into the calculator here. Or I can throw it all into the calculator at the same time. It doesn't really matter. So you're going to get two answers. I'm either going to get 0 over 2, which is 0. Or I'm going to get 28 over 2, which is 14. Hence the two answers, n equals 0 or n equals 14. Now please remember, sequences always start off at T1. They do not start off at T0. This means n can never be equal to 0. Okay, that's it.